So, could you please present yourself and your professional role briefly? Um, yes, I'm Ute Rexroth. I'm a medical doctor by training and a field epidemiologist. I currently head the unit for crisis management outbreak investigation and training programs at Robert Koch Institute, that is the National Public Health Institute in Germany. And here we are also the focal point for the public health authorities in Germany. So you're a former fellow, Ute. Uh, what would you say is the most precious thing that you take away from uh, the fellowship? My fellowship was actually 13 years ago starting and uh, I learned a lot. It was very important for my professional career. Not only the technical content I learned uh, all about field epidemiology, but uh, of course also the network and uh, the insight you could gain what is happening in Europe and in the neighboring countries as well. What advice would you give to fellows, either the EPIET or UFEM or PIA or uh, MedEPIET fellows uh, that now are starting up their fellowship? They should really make the best use of that time. It's an incredible opportunity. It's a privilege to join that program. You learn a lot technically and also you get great friends. Um, they should try to open up a little bit Many of those are technical experts in a certain field already. Um, they should try to use this chance to broaden their view and learn also about the fields they're not experts in yet. So over the years, there are quite many EPIET and uh, UFEM uh, fellows, and you're one of them. So what, what does it mean to you to be part of this bigger network? We have a common understanding and a common terminology in this field. So this network, this training provides us with some basic rules and basic understanding. And especially during crisis situations, it's extremely important that you know the colleagues and that you have a terminology and a network. So I rely a lot on this. How do you see and use uh, the fellowship and uh, the alumni of the fellowship in your everyday working life? Could you give a concrete example? I really rely a lot on the expertise gained in this fellowship, not only personally, but also my colleagues. A lot of my staff, of my team members are also alumni or are currently enrolled in the program. So we have a common understanding, we have a common terminology, and uh, we can rely on, we know what the other knows. So um, for the Institute and for me as, as a leading staff in the Institute, it's really a very important pillar stone. We're constantly working with updating the fellowship, but we're currently doing a major revision of the curriculum of the fellowship program. So what do you think is important for the fellowship uh, as we go mm -hmm. towards the future? Mm -hmm. It's very important to stay open, to um, be vigilant for new methods and tools, um, also with the research to get aligned with it and also aligned with WHO material because that sets standards also for us in the European Union. So I would advise the program to look at this, but on the same time also maintain the valuable content we have used during the last years. Um, so it will be an endeavor and I wish you best luck for it. Thank you very much.